workouts, and helpful advice. Add this video to your favorites. It will guide you when you train. Next exercise, jumping jacks. Go. If you can't, do not jump, but instead raise the feet in a lateral direction one at a time. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Do not bend or curve your back during the exercise. To avoid errors, keep the abdominals tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, rear lunges plus wide rows. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't touch the floor with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the basin. Make sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Don't lift your shoulders when bringing up the arms. Keep them constantly down and relaxed. Keep your elbows and hands at shoulder height when you bring your arms up. Be sure not to bend your wrists. Your hands should be in line with your forearms. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, push-ups plus donkey kicks extended leg. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, perform a push-up with your knees on the ground. Do not bend your back or lift your pelvis too high. Your head, shoulders, and hips should all be aligned. To be able to do this, constantly maintain your abdominals and glutes tight. Don't stretch out the foot. Keep it constantly flexed. Do not strain your neck by trying to look forward. Always stare at a fixed point on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, outstretch your arms along the body and place the palms of your hands on the floor. Do not strain your neck when you lift your shoulders. You can help by staring at a fixed point on the ceiling during the movement. Be sure never to lift the lower back off the floor to avoid back problems. To be able to correctly do this, constantly maintain the abdominal muscles tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, one leg wall squats. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, rest both feet on the ground instead of lifting one. Do not place your weight on your toes. To do this, the pressure should be placed on the heels. Five, four, three, two, one, 
switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go! Do not rotate the bent leg inward or outward. The knee should be in line with the foot. The knee of the bent leg should not exceed the tip of the foot. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat plus hip extension. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, bend your legs less. When you are performing the descent, be sure not to exceed your toes with your knees. Do not curve your back while performing the exercise. To be able to correctly do this, maintain the abdominals and the glutes well contracted. During the descent, do not bend the legs inwardly or outwardly. The knees should always be in line with your feet. Don't lift your heel off the ground during descent. Keep your foot constantly well placed. Don't bend your head. Try staring at a fixed point in front of you. Move slowly during both the descent phase and the ascent to increase the effectiveness of the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, triceps dips. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, bend your legs at 90 degrees and rest the soles of your feet on the ground. Be sure not to extend your elbows while you bring your torso down, in order not to strain the joints of the arms. Keep your abs contracted throughout the entire exercise to stabilize the spine. Five, four, three, Two, one, stop. Next exercise, plank with high speed climbing. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Do not bend your back. Keep it parallel to the floor. Keep the abs tight to keep a better balance. Do not bend or curve your neck while running. Five, four, Three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, jump plus full side crunch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, do not jump. Don't bend the neck sideways to avoid forcing it. Be sure not to lean the bust forward. The shoulders should be in line with your hips. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Keep your abs tight throughout the workout. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, side lunges. Three, 
three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the leg. Be sure not to bend your torso sideways. Your back should always be perfectly straight. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Keep your abs constantly tight during the exercise to improve balance. Be sure not to bend the outstretched leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, walking with hands. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Don't curve your back. Keep it parallel to the floor. Try keeping the abs constantly tight. Don't lift your head. Stare at a fixed spot on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, side plank. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, bend the leg at 90 degrees and rest your foot and knee on the ground. Do not lower or lift your pelvis. Head, shoulders, hips, and feet should be aligned as if they were following an imaginary line. Five, four, three, Two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not look at the floor. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, jump, jump plus leg rotation. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, do not jump. Do not curve your back during jumps. Keep your abs tight. Avoid violent impact with the floor during the descent. In order to do this, always land on your toes. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, rear lunges.
three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending less the legs. Don't touch the floor with the knee of the back leg when you bring down the basin. Make sure not to exceed the tip of the foot with the knee of the front leg. Don't bend or curve your back during the exercise. Keep your abs constantly tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, diamond push-up. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try resting your knees on the ground. Do not bend your back or lift your hips on the way down. Your head, shoulders, and hips should be aligned always. Do not strain your neck by trying to look forward. Always stare at a fixed point on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, crunch plus lateral punch. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try doing a simple crunch. Do not strain your neck when you lift your shoulders. You can help by staring at a fixed point on the ceiling during the movement. Be sure never to lift the lower back off the floor to avoid back problems. To be able to correctly do this, constantly maintain the abdominal muscles tight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, squat plus butt kicks. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, bend your legs less. Do not shift your body weight onto the tips of your feet. In order to maximize the effectiveness of the exercise, the force should be placed onto the heels. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent to avoid joint problems. Don't curve your back during this exercise. Keep your abs and glutes constantly tight. Don't turn your knees inwards or outwards during the descent phase. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, wall squat. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, try bending less the legs. Do not shift your body weight onto the tips of your feet. To do this, the force should be placed onto the heels. Keep your head and back perfectly adherent to the wall during the exercise. Do not rotate your legs inward or outward. The knees should be in line with the feet. The knees should not exceed the tips of the feet during the descent. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, triceps dips plus kick.
three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, rest your butt on the ground when you descend. Keep your abs tight to avoid injuring the spine. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't turn your elbows during the descent to avoid damaging the joints. Don't over-rotate the pelvis. Focus your effort on the relaxation of the arms. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Next exercise, plank with hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try bending your arms by bringing your elbows on the ground and rest the foot on the floor after the movement. Don't lift your butt. Your shoulders, hips, and feet should constantly be in line. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Be sure not to bend your neck. Your head must remain in line with your back. Try staring at a fixed point on the floor to help. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, high knee run. Three, two, one, go. If you are unable to complete this movement, try slowing down the pace. Do not rest your heels on the ground. Finish the descent on your toes. Do not bend or curve your back. Maintain your torso straight by staring at a fixed point in front of you while contracting your abdominals. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, side lunges with ankle touch. Three, two, one, go. If you cannot do it, try slowing down the pace. Be sure not to curve your back during the movement. Don't pass the line of your toes with your knees during the descent. Don't lift your heel during the lunge. Your foot must always be firmly on the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, push-ups with rotation. Three, two, one, go. If you can't, rest your knees on the ground while performing the push-up. Do 
not bend or curve your back during the exercise. To be able to do this, maintain your abdomen constantly tight. Be sure not only to rotate the torso, the shoulders and pelvis will move at the same time and the arm should be extended while it's being lifted. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, plank with side hip abduction. Three, two, one, go. If you can't do it, try doing a simple side hip abduction. Do not lower or lift your pelvis. Head, shoulders, hips, and feet should be aligned as if they were following an imaginary line. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't stretch out your foot. Keep it constantly flexed. Do not look at the floor. Stare at a fixed point in front of you. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Water break. Three, two, one, go. Next exercise, stretching hamstrings. Three, two, one, go. Don't bend your legs throughout the workout to maintain its effectiveness. Don't bend your torso. Keep it constantly straight. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching quadriceps. Three, two, one, go. In order to keep a good balance, extend your free arm outwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Do not overstretch the leg. The knee should be pointing towards the floor. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching arms, shoulders, and dorsal. Three, two, one, go. Do not force the upward thrust. Stop when your shoulders have reached their limit. Five, four, three, two, one, stop. Next exercise, stretching shoulders. Three, two, one, go. Don't pull your arm too fast. Try a constant movement. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides in the shortest time possible. Go. Don't apply excessive force to the shoulder. Stop before you feel pain. Five, four, three, two, 
one stop. Try out our full workout plans. More info in the description below.